In this course, we'll be looking at Extreme Cloud IQ platform. So what is Extreme Cloud IQ? Uh, it's a cloud platform that is primarily exposed as a network management platform, but it's actually not just a network management platform. The network management is just one application running on that platform, and the Extreme Cloud IQ actually contains other things like it's a data platform, it's a big data platform. So it enables us to gather and post-process data from our customers' networks to be able to apply machine learning and artificial intelligence co concepts to be able to help our customers administer and manage their networks better. And that data is used to obtain insights from the network that either would take a very long time for an administrator to get, it would require a lot of domain-based knowledge to get those insights, um, or it would have to, it would require a lot of collating uh, logs and different data sources to be able to get those insights. So we're able to apply machine learning and AI to those data sets to help you get to those insights quicker, to help you troubleshoot and manage your networks more efficiently and more effectively. And this goes both for uh, edge and distribution all the way up to the core of your network. Um, so it's an end-to-end cloud-driven network management solution. The other part is the data is actually exposed through a set of APIs. So if you are running an application or if you are a software development partner and want to develop an application on top of the, that platform, using those data sets, you're able to do so by leverage, leveraging those APIs. Now, obviously, Extreme, we will be providing uh, vertical-based or vertical-specific solutions, vertical-specific uh, dashboards, visualizations, and versions of the platform, but we can't cover everything. So that's why we have our partners developing additional applications that suit our customers' needs or solve a very specific problem uh, that a customer has. So, Extreme Cloud IQ, it's more than just a network management system or a network management platform. It is a data platform and it is an API-driven platform that is able to go and scale from a single deployment uh, in a store to a campus deployment across a university campus or as a global enterprise uh, for a large retailer or a global enterprise type of environment. So, from one, ten, a couple of hundreds or to thousands of devices spread across the globe. It doesn't make a difference. So how do we achieve this scale? Well, there's two components to it. One is called a regional data center or an RDC. An RDC is a point of presence uh, that is closest, physically closest to our customers and that point of presence stores the customer data, the data coming from their networks. The other component is called a GDC. It's more of a Think of it as an administrative data center. It takes care of people logging in, creating new accounts, um, and the platform has a very strong role-based access control system uh, to support it. Now, not only does this allow us to scale from you know, one single country, whole con continent, or the globe, it also uh, enables us to deploy some very uh, interesting scenarios like management as a service or wireless as a service and enables our partners to use it and leverage it to drive their business more efficiently. So if you are an managed service, service provider, the platform already has all the tools available uh, that you would need to implement your support processes and manage your customer's network on their behalf while they still have the ability to log in to the system and monitor the network deployments. So the RBAC takes care of that. The global data center uh, is based in Ireland, and the RDCs, there's actually a lot of them, and there's two flavors to the RDCs. There's a private RDC, uh, where it can be running in a customer data center, and there's a public RDC, which is running uh, on our cloud infrastructure. And the most important thing to remember here is because we have our data centers in country, the data stays in country. So for example, if you are a customer in Germany, the data will stay in our Frankfurt data center. So if you're a customer, that data will not leave the RDC. And we'll see in a couple of sessions why that's important to, to supply security and privacy uh, to our customers. So what's the role of the GDC or of the global data center? 
The Global Data Center performs tasks related to the overall management of the Extreme Cloud IQ infrastructure. For example, it allows you to create your account, to register for an account, and then maps you to the closest data center, or to the closest RDC, or to the closest point of presence. It supports managing administrator accounts and customer accounts, so it, it implements the RBAC, or role-based access control functions. It is used to distribute firmware upgrades and image distribution, so the latest and greatest uh, firmware updates will be applied through the global data center and distributed to wherever they need to go. And finally, it's used as a landing page and a sign-in sign page for our customers and partners, and it serves as a redirector to the RDC or to where the data uh, needs to go. So it's a central touch point uh, for all of our customers and partners, and it will then guide you automatically uh, to where your data is stored. So what is the role of an RDC or a regional data center? So regional data center, we said, is in-country, uh, and the tasks performed by the regional data center have to do with managing and configuring networks and gathering and storing data from those networks, as well as post-processing that data. So not only do we uh, manage networks, collect the data, and store the data, we also post processes to uh, obtain insights, and we apply machine learning and artificial intelligence concepts to be able to uh, obtain those insights from very large data sets. The management includes uh, network devices that would be uh, wireless, uh, wireless being one of the more dynamic parts of your network. Uh, that's why it was implemented first in the solution to edge switching or access switching, to distribution, and all the way up to the core. And it includes branch routing or SD-WAN enabled routing as well. And all these pieces of your network provide different data sources. And those data sources are gathered and collated within the platform. Uh, one of the things that's gathered is client information, clients connecting to the network, uh, their sessions, and also the applications that they're using they are all recorded and stored in the network. Now, that doesn't mean that the whole session and the exchange of data is recorded, but the information of which application each user has been using, for how long, how much data they've consumed, all of that is collected uh, and stored in the platform. And remember, the customer data resides wherever the RDC is, and it doesn't leave that RDC. So again, if you're in Germany, the data doesn't leave Germany. If you're in the UK, the data doesn't leave the Ireland data center, for example. So where are the RDCs located? Well, you can see our current distribution of RDCs on the slide. Uh, the information is also available on our website. And what you also find there is the uptime of each of the RDCs. So for your data center that you're connecting to, you can always monitor the uptime, the availability of the services, um, and how healthy that RDC is. What's important here is um, this will change, and maybe it will change tomorrow. So after you do this course, maybe there's another RDC popped up. And there's two flavors of RDCs. There's a private RDC, the ones you see in yellow. These are the RDCs that are deployed by our customers in their own private data centers on top of their own infrastructure. So they maintain the hardware. They maintain the hypervisor uh, in the virtualization environment, whereas we provide the software. The blue ones, uh, these are the RDCs that are running on our cloud infrastructure. Now, we're currently deploying it on Amazon as the cloud platform provider, but we are not tied in to Amazon as the provider because the Extreme Cloud IQ platform is actually a software-based uh, cloud platform, which means it's platform independent. So while we are running it on Amazon, we can deploy it on Google's GDC or Microsoft's Azure uh, without a problem. We can also deploy it on top of VMware-based environments uh, for our customers. So what's important about this global distribution of RDC? So we already mentioned data privacy and data security, but the other part is if you're a customer in New Zealand or a customer in Australia, you don't want to connect all the way back to D Dublin, Frankfurt, or Stockholm because of the latency. Uh, you want to have your point of presence as close to you as possible. Uh, the data has to traverse uh, the short, as short a distance as possible, and this gives our customers the best possible experience when they're using the system uh, without introducing any delay uh, or uh, any disruptions to the service. 